Just, it's just insane. Uh, I may have to take a couple seconds off. Uh, that's just utterly and completely sane. Uh, they have made a mockery of your belief system, yet they have families, money, health, and I might add wealth. You say, I can't understand it, but I can say it's much easier to go through life with no morals and ethics than it is to have every minute of every day. Yeah, I had scrupulosity. You are a very moral person. Uh, the code is don't hurt anyone else, even if you don't go beyond the golden rule. Don't treat anyone else, treat everyone else the way you like yourself to be treated. That's, that's a lot. That's a mouthful. You, know, you spend a whole life trying to perfect that. Um, you have every right to challenge God and demand it. And I have been, and I prayed vehemently up and down, uh, um, hands to the heavens, leaping and talking loud. And my answer came in this letter I discovered 33 years after it was written. written. It's dated April 19, Easter 1982. So it's 33 years later. And, uh, so, um, a hero of my own stories. <laughs> yeah, that's what got me up off the gurney. Those are the most miraculous week in my life, by the way, in addition to being very tough and difficult. Find a church. Yeah, I had it out with the, the priest. Uh, we're copacetic, and I will continue. Only once a week, 40 minutes, that's it. Take, take communion. Occasional confession, that's it. No TV, no books, no extra biblical readings of the Council of Trent, which bears your name, by the way. No study of what the Pope thinks or doesn't think. Fortunately, I agree with most of him. Uh, could be put down in one line. Who am I to judge when asked about gay weddings? Now, who am I to judge? So a uh, taxi cab experience was profound and... Uh, that's what I couldn't get that the other person didn't get it. This woman, husband, she thought had AIDS, was the father of her two twins, and he refused to get a test. And I said, Father, that's, that's about as urgent as you get. What else should I have done than pray? And so I got through, and I, I kind of developed a better relationship. Uh, the other one, I don't know. I don't know what it is. He's having a bad day. You know, obviously having a bad day, having to be a role model with the collar on, which I don't believe in, by the way. We're all role models. Um, ISIS moving towards Israel and our hapless president. I'll have to disagree with you there. I think Saddam uh, Hussein uh, has been ISIS's best friend. I think uh, uh, by Bush, and we'll call him the brother of Jeb Bush from now on, by the brother of Jeb Bush allowing two million people to be slaughtered. And that's a figure higher than you'll hear, but this includes insurgents killing each other, Ba'ath, Kurds, uh, Sunnis, Shiites. And this is, includes a fact that you might not be aware of, about 2,000 construction workers have been murdered. But they're so fucking greedy to go over there and make make the money for Halliburton. And Halliburton is so fucking greedy to make the billions for Dick Cheney. I just say uh, the Republican Party is going to sink hard in this election. Um, neither you nor I have enough money to be a Republican. Yeah, the lunch is a scam. But uh, that is just a tiny, tiny part. Now, the latest estimate I heard is six trillion is how much the war is ultimately going to cost, and the two million death. Find a church that allows you to expand my talents, such as poetry, editorial. I really have, except I have to get back off. Once a week, 40 minutes, that's it. You know, turn the TV off, put the Bible on the shelf, and that's it. That's my quota that I can absorb in any given week. Uh, 2 2015, you return with a cigarette and glassy eyed. Yeah, I was extremely frustrated and I didn't know what I was going to do at that point. I didn't know that I was going to keep this place no matter what, and I, that I was going to pursue my dream uh, and uh, clap for myself and provide for myself and start paying taxes. And that is uh, something that's so concrete in my mind after 34 years of praying that the action time is now and I've begun just violent 
action of cleaning and going through every paper and every photograph and every letter and thousands of journals that I've done, I've written over the last 34 years. And I'm going to store them and, and convert the entire layer, just a green background, a piece of cloth, $6 at Home Depot can do the green effect. And that means you put a model in front of that or a model less go really they're not interested in models so the viewing population is interested in sex sexual especially lesbian sex you put a green screen up and you can put anything you want in that background and have it realistic so you and i couldn't tell unless we we're paying close attention now it's not going to be a sexual block this is where it's difficult you have to have i'll have to have a model who can read and I've got the perfect choices, and all I need is Bernadette to give me the same thumbs up to the thumbs up I gave to her and spending five to six thousand dollars on her dream of a life, which was a poetry site, and full support during that period, and full support during this back period. I'm just asking for that from her. Whether I'll get it, I don't know. Uh, she has a weird um, thinking, uh, but she has a, a quarter million, $200,000 wardrobe, and it's all in about a size six, about a model size, and that would be great to use these clothing as a way of returning everything that I've done for her. Um, your poem was powerful and came to life as you recited it. My advice is not to wait to God. I haven't. I've been waiting for 34 years. Now is the time of action. Uh, I think of General MacArthur on the beach. I saw some of Patton last night on the beaches in the Philippines saying, I will return. And uh, that's the attitude that, that I have through the help of God and my calling. I've prayed no less than 10,000 times for a calling, a realistic calling, something I can do, something I'm good at. And uh, I will get my feet, teeth fixed because... Many people are into things like that. Unfortunately, Medicaid will pay for that. Um, my poem came to life, The Lady in the Taxi. Jerry Foster is a guy I met online who also has OCD. He plays piano, guitar, drums, and synthesizer, and writes his own lyrics. He doesn't have huge numbers. All he knows is that he's doing what he wants to do, doing what he's called to do, and helping a lot of people get through difficult times. He's gone public with his illness, uh, his dis brain chemistry disorder, I prefer. And so I've looked up to him as someone who is on the internet, you know, doing his thing. So uh, I'm not sure God has betrayed you. I don't believe he has. He's just made me wait a heck of a long time. And I'm tired. I'm tired of waiting. It's time for things to happen. Uh, probably hit a nap here and do a couple of videos but and not watch the Academy Awards. But again, I thank you for your letter, and I'll rifle this one out along with the uh, letter from Dr. Litsen Chang. Good day.